everybody. Uh, it's me, the intern. Everybody sends packages around Christmas time, right? You're sending gifts to your grandma or to your mom and dad or to your, you know, other people you send Christmas gifts to. You're either sending packages or you're waiting for packages and you're excited. Um, I got some, I ordered some package. They weren't gifts for anybody. I, I ordered some stuff for myself, which is, isn't very Christmassy, I guess. I ordered some books. Very excited to get the books. I don't remember what they are, but they were good. So I ordered these books, and they came from Mishawaka, Indiana. Mishawaka. Mishawaka. It's Mish... There's a little city of Mishawaka, Indiana. I live in Fort Wayne, Indiana, which... Fort Wayne, Indiana is like south... Wait, it's... It, Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne. So it's, you know, a few miles to go there. Mishawaka to Fort Wayne is 92 miles, like an hour and 45 minutes. I've had stuff come from California, which is like way out here. California's like way over here. That takes like maybe two days to get here. I tracked the packages. I tracked them from Mishawaka. You would think if they were going to ship them from Mishawaka to Fort Wayne, they would just put them on a truck or in a car or something. Or they would just call me and say, hey, why don't you just come pick them up in Mishawaka? You're only an hour and a half away. They started in Mish over here. They went to Cincinnati, Ohio. Mishawaka's there. Fort Wayne is is here. Cincinnati, Ohio is like over here somewhere. Cincinnati, Ohio. That's 250 miles. Cincinnati, Ohio is, is wait, so they went like past Fort Wayne to Cincinnati, Ohio on day one. That was day one, right? They spent a couple hours in Cincinnati, so like, you know, two hours in Cincinnati. And then from Cincinnati, they they went to Detroit, which is like up here somewhere, 260 miles from Cincinnati to Detroit. That was day two. They've been in Detroit for four days. Why would they send packages that are only an hour and a half away to a city in Ohio, Cincinnati, which is like, I don't know, three hours away from Fort Wayne. They have to drive past Fort Wayne to get there. Why would they do that? And then I remembered when I specified my shipping, how do I want this thing shipped? Do you want it like four million dollars to ship it to you today we'll put it on a plane and fly it to your house and drop it off on a parachute to land on your front door i didn't want that oh for a little bit less money you could have them shipped overnight and they could ship you know and then you get them the next day and then they have all the whatever other priority things so i just said give me the cheapest way to do it that was my mistake you would think that shipping would just be logical they would say let's take the shortest distance between two points and we'll ship it that way but that's not how it works. And if you pick the cheapest thing, you got to pay for it somehow. You're either going to pay with money or you're going to pay with time. So I'm paying with time on day six or five or whatever day it is now. It's mean-spirited. You know, just because I want to have stuff cheaply doesn't mean that I don't want to get it until next year. So instead of taking the route from Mishawaka to Fort Wayne directly, 92 miles, an hour and 45 minutes, the U.S. Postal Service, which I nothing against the Postal Service. I love. They're usually really good. I don't know what happened here. But instead of taking that route, they took the route 674 miles, 11 hours. Maybe they think that, you know, Detroit is having a rough time with things these days. And, you know, they want to do some business with Detroit. So they say, hey, you know what? If people don't want to pay for postage, let's just let's route their stuff through Detroit. Detroit needs business. Maybe I shouldn't feel bad that it's taking so long because I'm helping Detroit. I don't know anybody in Detroit, though, so I don't, I don't really care. I want my books. I'd like to have my books. That's what I'd like. I do feel bad for people in Detroit. That's sad that Detroit is bankrupt. But maybe they're bankrupt because they hold on to people's packages for days when they could ship their packages. Maybe that's the problem, is Detroit. Like, Cincinnati only kept them for, like, two hours. Cincinnati was like, Psh, we don't have time to be hanging on to your books Get them out of here. Let's send them somewhere. Let's send them to Detroit. They like books. I mean, maybe somebody in Detroit is reading my books. Maybe that's good. Reading is good. I feel good about that. You know, better yourself with reading. So, hey, that's great. You know, better yourself and then maybe you won't be bankrupt anymore, Detroit. You're welcome.